Tonight is October the 11th, 2025. And there's a lot of videos out there about people using their tiny SAs. Their little tiny spectrum analyzers. I got one. And it's actually, I'm going to show you how to look at the uh, H1, the hydrogen line in, uh, in Nebula. I made some videos like this about three years ago uh, using a whole lot more equipment, but uh, this actually works quite well. I'll show you. Okay, first of all, we got our dish. Nice little uh, military dish. Here's the feed horn. Uh, this is just a piece of um, stove pipe. It's put together right here in the middle to make it longer. I use copper tape. It makes it look kind of cool. This is the open end, which is just covered in copper tape. The, this end is flared a little bit. This is PVC uh, mounted in there with nylon nuts, so this just holds it. This is, you know, in, invisible to the RF, and then it's flared a little bit. I don't know if that helps or not, but ChatGPT said it did. And it's got a quarter wave probe on the inside. I don't know if you can see it or not. You might be able to. And it fits right here. And uh, with these kinds of uh, feed horns and dishes, yeah, I'll turn it around here. You want the focus to be somewhere up inside, six or eight centimeters up inside. And that's where it is at 22 and a half uh, centimeters from the center. There's a little formula you measure from this reflecting corner to this reflecting corner. Then you put a straight edge across it and then you measure the distance from the center up to that straight edge. And there's a little formula that says that you square this distance, whatever it is, which happens to be 60 centimeters, and then this distance from the center up to that straight line that goes across it, 16 times that, then you divide. And anyway, you get 22 and a half. Because this is uh, 60 and this is 10. So you can do that. See, and here's the uh, output. Okay. Uh, what I've got here, let's see. This is the input. There's a few things in the way, but it's not a big deal. Let me see here. No, oh, look at there. That's a kitty cat here. You, you, you got to see the kitty cat. Got to see the kitty cat. Because he's a beauty. Big, my big male kitty cat up there. Checking it out, making sure there's no aliens walking across the roof. <laughs> big white male. He's a beauty. Anyway, back to this. Okay. And if I remember correctly, there's a pretty hot spot about right there. You, you can ask ChatGPT where the um, where the real hot spots are, if you want to call it that, for the nebula. This is my power supply for D-sized batteries. Got a little resistor in there to drop it down to five volts at the proper load to power up the uh, the amplifier. I prefer I uh, refer to it as an LNA, a low noise amplifier. It's inside a uh, an Altoids box. There it is right there. Not much to it. The switch doesn't do anything. It was for something else. But anyway, 37.33.7 dB at uh, 1.4 gig. And then we hook it up right here. Let's see. I've got to look at this thing, see which way is input. And here it is. I hope I can show this to you. already configured this so it's scanning the right right portion of the band. At least I hope I did. I think you can see that. Maybe. Well I don't see it. Do you see it? Maybe I don't have it pointed right. Five no that looks that looks about right. I gotta sit down here. I can't stand very long anymore. Well, I probably don't have it pointed exactly right. Let's see. It seemed like it was just not terribly. Uh, let's see about that. Let's see. Whoops. Stay out of the 
front of it. That'll help. It's down in front of it. I know you probably can't see that. It's a uh, it's scanning real slow. It, it's having to do a lot of measurements at each point because it has to pull the uh, that H1 line out of the noise floor. There it is. Though you can actually see it there. I don't have it exactly right right now, but that little point right there, if you can see, the airplane going over. It's down. Uh, let's see. The top line minus 30. Yeah, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Yeah, it's down pretty far. It should be down about minus 100 dB. I don't have it on it. There it is. It, it's there. Let me go get the coordinates and uh, get it tuned in. And, and, and it, it actually makes a, quite a nice pulse. I'll be right back. Got to go find out exactly where to point it. Well, the antenna grew a little bit. This is a bigger dish. I was trying, um, this is part of this experiment tonight is trying out the different two dishes. Uh, here, here's the other one over here. Um, the one that I was using is, I just put it right over here. That is such a pretty little dish. That's a military surplus one. I'd be mean, built like a tank. Uh, the uh, mounting on it, which I've taken off because I don't need it. It's something I'm sure you could put on top of a mountain, you know, and forget about it. But um, this one, this one actually gives me a few more decibels of uh, not much, like I don't know, three or four, which is significant. Three dBs twice the power. It does give me more gain. Um, I'm gonna take the camera off. I try to keep it steady as I can, but I gotta take it off because I gotta show you some things that um, it's easier to walk around like this. What I have done to make it more portable is I built in a battery pack down here with four uh, uh, sized D batteries in it. And I put a little resistor in it to make sure that uh, I dropped the voltage to five volts and then I've mounted the uh, a little tiny SA back here with a, some Velcro. So I can take it on and pull it off very easily. And there it is right there. I mean, that's Mother Nature creating stars. And we're made out of stardust and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, so it seems like it's bigger. When I move away from it, I can't quite explain that. I'm, I'm behind it, so I'm sure I'm not affecting it. So I don't think, there it is. Yeah, well, I guess it has to make a complete sweep sometimes. But that's another little thing you, that's another thing you can do with your little tiny SA. Now this pipe right here is uh, used like for um, uh, septic tank drains. See those holes in it? Which is really kind of convenient because see I got the, got the DC wire run up to the, uh, my little LNA. And then I've got the uh, other wire. Uh, well, I put the LA on the side of it here with some Velcro so I could take that on and off easily. And I ran it down through another hole, you know, trying to obstruct the, uh, the dish as little as possible. But anyway, well, look at there. Look at there. I affected something, didn't I? I upset, I upset the world. I upset, oh no. Let's see what's going to happen now. Well, anyway, another night. Well, another night of uh, excitement. <laughs> uh, viewing the hydrogen line. One more sweep here, and, and we'll let it go. It has to get all the way across. It seems like before it can integrate all of it. It's a, it's below 100, uh, uh, below minus 100 uh, dB. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope, hope you have fun and this is worth something to you.